I knew a man, an African-American man, who was born here in Baltimore in 1908, in the days of segregation. He grew up on this street, played in this neighborhood. His father was a porter on a train and his mother was a school teacher. When he graduated from high school, his parents scraped to put him through college and scraped again to put him through law school. He wanted to go to the University of Maryland Law School, but he knew they wouldn't admit him because of his race. So he went to Howard University Law School in Washington, D.C., and was graduated first in his class. Two years later, he turned around and sued the University of Maryland Law School for discrimination and won, and his client became their first black student. For the next few decades, he spent a lot of time in court. He became America's leading civil rights lawyer. He represented, defended men accused of rape and murder in the Deep South, risking his life to save theirs. While trying to save two men from being lynched, he was almost lynched himself. He was the bravest man I've ever known. In 1954, he argued a landmark case before the Supreme Court challenged the legacy of Plessy versus Ferguson, widely known as Brown versus Board of Education. And that man, who was a victim of segregation, who was a lawyer for the NAACP, who argued Brown versus Board, that was Thurgood Marshall. In 1967, he became the first African-American justice ever to serve on the United States Supreme Court.